is the planet doing? And uh, I want to pose at least the parameters of what the answer would look like. Uh, for about 150 years, uh, we've been measuring GDP uh, and allied indices to ask the question how a nation is doing. And I want to suggest to you that that was a good first approximation to how we were doing during the Industrial Revolution. But in the last 80 years or so, uh, it's increasingly diverged from the way you would think intuitively about public policy in a nation. Every time there's a suicide, the GDP goes up. Every time there's a divorce, the GDP goes up. Uh, GDP is just the utilization of goods and services. Uh, every time there's an automobile accident, the GDP goes up. And as many of you know, uh, economists unhumorously call these regrettables. I'm going to suggest to you that there is a better way of measuring uh, how we're doing. And I'm going to suggest to you that it is uh, the well-being, the global well-being of a nation. So here's an outline of what I'll do over the next uh, 35 or 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to talk about well-being as a national goal. Uh, and then I'm going to ask the question, well, what is that? And what is it we should be measuring and building? And I'm going to suggest to you that well-being has five elements. Uh, I call them PERMA. As some of you know, I used to work on, uh, well, I spent most of my life working on misery. But about uh, uh, 12 years ago, when I was president of the American Psychological Association, uh, I be began to ask the question uh, and urge my colleagues to about what makes life worth living. What's the difference between alleviating disabling conditions and building enabling conditions? So I'm going to be talking about the building of enabling conditions. And just as a metaphor, that, that's an important difference. I, I grew up thinking, uh, this is the tradition in psychotherapy, that if you somehow relieved all of your patients' depression, anxiety, anger, you'd get a happy person. And I never did. I, when I was lucky enough to be able to do that, I got an empty person. And that's because the skills of building relationships, positive emotion, meaning in life, are almost completely different from the skills of getting rid of the dysphorias. So I'm going to suggest to you that there are five elements that make up well-being, PERMA, uh, uh, Positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishment. I'll be talking about uh, what we know about those things and the quantification. Uh, one of the things that inspire, I'm, I've, only, I've spent my life working with individuals. So the question about thinking about even dyads of people gives me a headache. So I'm really on quite unfamiliar ground talking about the question of a nation or a planet. And, uh, where I come from has to do with the individual measurement of PERMA. But about two years ago, 